All right, guys, let's see how we can use Argo CD in order to write our configurations automatically to be synchronized and applied inside of uh, micro KTS. That's a very interesting tool. And uh, let's start with its installation. Let's say that we already have uh, micro KTS installed. If not, we'll go to terminal and here we'll just type uh, sudo snap uh, install micro uh, KTS. So here I have it already installed and I'll add uh, the following uh, add-ons which will be uh, DNS and storage. Once uh, they are enabled, uh, we'll create a separate namespace uh, for Argo CD. So I'll use this command micro KTS kubectl create namespace Argo CD. I've already created it and I can get the namespaces. And we see that we have one Argo CD uh, namespace active. Now inside of this namespace, we'll install the needed services, pods, and uh, uh, stateful sets uh, for Argo CD. I'll not use uh, the default provided command because um, it has problems uh, right now with GitHub, but I'll go directly to GitHub Argo project Argo CD releases and from the latest uh, release, I'll just apply the install manifest and of course I'll prefix it with uh, micro KTS. And now uh, we can issue the following command, micro KTS, kubectl, uh, get all with the namespace of Argo CD. And uh, this uh, should show us everything that is created. And we see that our services are running, that those are our pods. We have um, our Argo CD server and uh, we have also deployments and uh, replica sets as well as uh, the stateful set uh, for uh, saving the configurations and for communication uh, together with our cluster. They are all used for providing user interface as we can see here on port 80, the Argo CD server also, they are used in order to manage the state of applications uh, which will be installed on our uh, cluster. Okay, uh, the next thing we'll do is to try to browse the server. So directly without any port forwarding, we can uh, grab the cluster IP because uh, right now we are trying everything on one machine which is not exposed on internet. So we can browse this address. And here we'll just type the address and now we will accept the certificate and we can log in with the username of admin but the password for it we'll try to grab it directly from the uh, deployed configuration uh, so we have secrets and we will use the following string to extract the password from there so that's the string actually would like to grab the initial admin secret. This is uh, stored inside of the configuration of the secret and afterwards we'll decode it. So that's our secret. And let's use it here and we should be inside of Argo CD. That's the interface. And as a next step, we will connect Argo CD together with a GitHub account. And the goal is um, to be able to push new configurations inside of uh, GitHub and um, the Argo CD to be able to synchronize those configurations inside of our local Kubernetes cluster. Here I have already connected a repository. That's quite easy. You just uh, use a preferred method. For example, using HTTPS, you just have to type the repository URL and uh, if you're connecting to private repository of course you can use uh, the username and password once this is done we can create our first application so we go to applications and we'll click on new application let's say that we'll be applying uh, nginx uh, service and deployment so we'll call it my nginx the project will be the default which is used here in argo cd 
and for now we'll be synchronizing manually but of course you can change these settings to automatically Argo CD can uh, monitor the changes and uh, apply the new configurations and for the source we'll be providing our github URL and for the path now you can either create a subdirectory inside of github or you can provide the default uh, current directory path with dot for the destination actually we are providing our kubernetes uh, cluster and the namespace is the default one uh, so that's uh, what we need to configure basically this will connect to our micro kts service and we'll make changes to the default uh, namespace so basically we have um, argo cd namespace for the configuration and uh, the needed uh, programs of argo cd and we have the default namespace where we will be applying our configurations we can create our application we see that it's created it's connected to our repository and for now it's out of sync because we haven't synchronized it with the repository now we'll create one directory inside of uh, our machine and we'll also connect it to the github repository and so whenever we are making changes locally and pushing those changes in github they'll be reflected back to argo cd and argo cd will make changes to uh, kubernetes let's see how we can do this all right so we go to our github account and inside of our empty repository i'll just clone it in the terminal i'll just uh, type a git clone and then the url address this should create a new directory inside what we have oh, there is nothing okay let's uh, create our configuration of file uh, so we'll type uh, nano and nginx yaml now it's time to use uh, pre-configured uh, configuration of nginx uh, server i'll just uh, directly paste it basically we're having one deployment and one service exposing this deployment we're using nginx container from the nginx image which will create a pod and we'll have two replicas of it afterwards we'll be exposing everything um, on port 80 uh, with nginx service let's save the file and now that's our configuration now we can type git add and we can let's say add this file the next thing is to commit it with a message of uh, nginx deployment and service and we should try to push this into our repository now uh, this file should be in our public uh, github account if we refresh we see the file and that's the contents of the file okay let's go to this application now and when we click on refresh we see that we have already a service and deployment let's try to synchronize it now and we'll see that they will be read directly from the repository and will be applied um, we see one replica set with two pods uh, created and uh, let's check this out inside of the terminal so let's type micro kts uh, kubectl get all and we'll see that uh, we have the two pods running also our my nginx service exposed here so we can try to go to port 80 on this cluster ip and uh, try to browse our nginx server okay and we see that's the output of the uh, service and now what's interesting is why argo cd is so useful is because we can go ahead in our terminal and here create another configuration let's say we'll change something we change the replicas to one we save this and again uh, we'll add our file and we'll push it with another message for commit okay so we'll push it to git now once it's in our github account we'll see what happens in argo cd so everything stays but if we refresh we'll be able to see that 
our current configuration is out of sync with what we have as a source of truth inside of GitHub. And actually we can click on app diff and if we click on a compact diff, we can see that um, the replicas were two and now we change the replicas to one. Uh, so we can uh, see more granularly what is happening. And now we can uh, synchronize everything. Keep in mind that uh, this will just create a new uh, pod without uh, pruning the old ones. So you have those options here to be able to remove the old ones also automatically. So we click on synchronize and we see that only one pod is left and the other one was terminated. So now if we go in the terminal, we can check this. So if we uh, go ahead and type again, get all, we see just only one pod uh, here. And that's basically how the process goes. We declare um, our configuration inside of uh, configurational uh, files and then we make changes to them. We push those changes and uh, from then on Argo CD takes care of uh, keeping the cluster configuration synchronized with our desired state in GitHub. Uh, so now here on app details we can uh, scroll down and enable the automatic synchronization now which will do all the steps for us uh, so it will be able uh, to detect all the changes and apply them automatically and that's uh, very useful and keep in mind that you can also delete all the resources here directly uh, from Argo CD as well as the whole application which will uh, basically uh, delete the configurations and uh, resources uh, directly from the cluster and so once this is ready we here in the cluster will not be able to get anything from the current uh, namespace except the default Kubernetes uh, service for our cluster. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the information. If you liked the tutorial, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.